plenty of excitement, uh, plenty of action, and very vivid characters, and a, and a global, a global cinema experience for audiences. It is bigger. It is grander. It's more explosive. It's Tom Cruise on a motorbike off a cliff, and four fantastic women and more. I'm excited for the fans. They have no idea what they're in for. Thank you all for coming out. This is beautiful. This is absolutely magical to, to share this with you all in these epic steps, and uh, it's a historical moment. Thank you. Tom and Macquarie can't bring anything but a sense of adventure because you're either jumping off something, um, something will be explosive, it's either real life, it's a weekend race, or it's actually shooting. So nothing is mediocre in this world. It is so phenomenal. I mean, we love, we love Italy, we love Rome, uh, and, and shooting here was such a dream and a real challenge. But more than anything, we were here during the pandemic and to see the city back to life and to see everybody out on the streets it's just uh it's it's very emotional it's very emotional but this is a city of cinema you know i mean the films that i grew up with watching you know of italian cinema to be able to take to take these cars and create action and develop character you know the character of Haley atwell grace really inspired the tone that we are allowed to have through through uh through rome and I'm, you know, I've always wanted to film in, in Venice, and McHugh and I had talked about it for many, many years. So to be able to go from Rome to Venice, you know, you, you'll see it. And they're both different tones and represent a different emotional aspect of this picture. So many good and intense memories of filming here in Rome. We have this yellow car behind us, which we nicknamed Trixie because she had a mind of her own. And so to spend five months learning how to drift with Trixie whilst both Tom and I were handcuffed to each other meant that by the time we got out to Rome, we had a good chance that we weren't going to harm the city, the streets, the fountains, the stairs, other people. And so the fact that we've come back here with the city intact and also thriving is such a... Um, it feels bittersweet. It's not an action movie to me. It's got drama, it's comedy, it's a thriller... It's kind of sci-fi. It's kind of, I said to Tom after, it's almost like a genre of its own, you know? And that's such a beautiful, radical thing to do with a film. The tradition in the scene is, oh, it's just an action movie, but it's so not. And I, I know that anybody that watches that will feel that, and that's really exciting. Oh, whenever I get the call to make these films, or, you know, I, I see Tom again, I know that I'm going to have an adventure. I, you know, I don't know what adventure that shape, the shape is going to take, but I know it's going to be incredible. And as, you know, this one was like that times a million. It was crazy. Uh, to be involved in such a, you know, <laughs> significant role as the main villain is a highlight, if not the highlight of my career. And it, it just makes me feel like I did the right thing by taking a chance on this career. Whereas a kid from the Bronx, with my background, there weren't many opportunities. So to be here, to be working with one of the greatest movie stars, if not, I don't know who else, who else has done what he's done for four decades. It has been not only an honor, but an, a real learning experience. And I hope to get a chance to do it more or again in my life. It was um, a dream come true. It was one of my dreams to be part of Mission Impossible. And actually, I started um, training, uh, learning martial arts and fight training and stunts uh, years ago um, with a martial artist called Jessen Noviello. And um, I would even write in my schedule, in my phone, sometimes I would write Mission Impossible instead of training to kind of like manifesting. I grew up watching the TV series and then I watched every single one of the franchise with my wife. So I was a fan to begin with. So when I got the call from Tom and McHugh, I was like, you had me at hello, you know? You know, with Top Gun, we, we focused on learning how to fly in, the air, in aircrafts, which was incredible. Uh, but on this one, we had to learn so much more. We were traveling around the world, which gave it another element of, of challenge. Uh, but also, you know, it, it's, it's a spectacle that the audience is going to love, and I can't wait for them to see it. Started with, if I, if I said day one was on top of a moving train in Norway, jump up there, try to grab Tom Cruise doing 70 miles an hour in the most picturesque location you possibly could in Norway. And then it didn't end until we, we shot this through the pandemic, so it took a little longer, but it still was just electric all the way through. 
Rome to Venice, back to Rome to Abu Dhabi, London, you know? It's just electric, electric is what I would say. I love working with Tom and McCoy. That's the first thing. Like their work ethic and how smart they are and just taking care of everyone is something that you don't find everywhere. So um, I feel blessed that I'm working with them. It's like the Beatles. Everyone is slightly different and everyone's fantastic, truly. And they get better and they get better. Uh, it's hard to believe after Fallout, but this one is even more extraordinary in its grip on you. Macquarie is an absolute genius. He is a phenomenal writer. Um, the partnership that him and Tom strike up together, ambition of ideas that they have, the pressure that they put on the production team to keep pushing the franchise further and further. As an actor, all we got to do is show up and, and just marvel at people jumping out of planes and cars flying at left, right, and centre and stuff blowing up. It's yeah, it's phenomenal.